best idea, but... What's up, guys? So, uh, we are going to be doing some recording on uh, the new Garden Terror and playing Brightwing. Looked at a few of the builds for Brightwing, and it's uh, going to be an interesting character, to put simply. Um, we will be on EU, so the ping's going to be a little weird. I am also playing in-house with some people, so you might hear some other people talking. But in general, I'm still going to go through and talk about the builds, the talents, and what I'm going to be recommending. So I'm going to turn up their volume just a tad. All right. Um, we're not joining that voice because we're on Discord at the moment. So... The first thing is that you don't need to get the lowered cooldown anymore. Um, you minion deaths wow, now reduce the cooldown of phase shift, so you can stay. You can essentially go into other lanes and lower the cooldown. For instance, say you want to side soak a lane. Now we already have side soakers, so we won't need this talent. Instead, we can stay with our team, and we can e I do pixie charm, or we can do takedowns, refresh the cooldown of polymorph, and go a polymorph build. Ultimately, I don't think so we're going to be getting kill after screen. kill, so I think we're going to yeah, be going for a pixie charm shit. to get the bribe <laughs> stacks off. One of the things they changed with uh, Brightwing is if you land in the middle of this, yeah, you right. trigger one passive that's right, prop. Idiots. I'm going to oh, just no. simply do this, get some damage off, and fire out another Q, proccing another heal. You can see the heals are going off very quickly, as well as the fact that we're getting multiple... Uh, Arian's OP. Bright, uh, we're saying. getting multiple procs of the... The bribe. So, because we're healing more often, we're getting way more stacks. We had A today, though, baby. NA is the winning team. I'm already gonna making it happen. <laughs> NA, yeah, NA is the winning team. Thank um, God, champ. But yeah, now I'm trying to take. Yo, can you dive on that guy? We're getting bribe stacks this entire time. I'm gonna just toss a Q out here, get some yeah, heals off. Know, I can combo thing. too, buddy. Gonna give some spell armor to myself because oh, no, I'm probably dead I'm here. So I'm definitely dead here. Um, it's tricky because in this, everyone's gonna be playing Kerrigan because Kerrigan just got changes as Yo, well. And so playing a so Brightwing into a Kerrigan until 16 is gonna be rough when Try I can get the phase out. For my stacks. Now I can Z into anyone, and in this case, I'm gonna Z into the uh, the other Kerrigan. I'm gonna put a shield over here. We're going to just back up a tad, and we're going to send out a Q. Didn't hit in the middle, which means we didn't get that extra heal. Uh, and now we're on to this, uh, this Brightwing. Nice. I actually think Kerrigan's busted. I'm not joking. I think she's pretty strong right now. I, I feel like they just kind of buffed everything, honestly. Mm -hmm. I, I can't like, wait. Like, Brightwing, they buffed a lot, but they also, like, took a lot, so... And Brightwing is already not meta, so I don't know. <laughs> you masters <laughs> So we're playing right now EU versus NA, and uh, and there's master players on both teams, masters and GM players on both teams. But uh, we're also on yeah, EU uh, servers, quick. so the NA players have a uh, a ping issue. Okay, so at this level, uh, so far my build is not committing to anything, to so I'm going magic. On their terms. I know, right? <clears throat> Gotta show him what's up. One thing I am disappointed with is when you take Fury of the Swarm, it doesn't give you your uh, critical hit numbers. That's a tilter. I'm gonna try Kerrigan. Didn't get the extra heal there. Now I haven't used my my cleanse at all yet. I think part of the reason why is I it's not an unstoppable. It's only for like roots. So I'm waiting for the. Wait, that sound was so cool. The mm -hmm. roots of the stuns, and I feel There's like it's... There's also really good voice lines that they added in for when you get the uh, objective. Okay, cool. So we got the first one. We've got some some nice... Uh... Oh, I should be killing minions with my Q. I'm an idiot. I have my Z to jump into anyone if needed, but I don't think we're going to need it. I just send in a Q. So I have two bribe stacks now. I think at the moment I'm just gonna sneak over and steal. Actually, I can't steal. Oh, I could steal the bottom can. That's gonna be our best bet. Does this give the lowered cooldown? It doesn't say. Uh, it looks like they're going for theirs, so I won't be able to. Do Wait, that. they got rid of this bush here. They yep, they got rid of a lot of things. Oh, Can no. I get to them in time? I cannot. Just good. 
It's okay. We'll I wonder be fine. if I can sneak Are past, grab that. Because I still see two showing bots, so... Or I'm just going to walk past this guy. Anything. I'm going to do a polymorph there so I don't need to worry about it. And I still am not using my cleanse. That's something is going to be weird. A baseline cleanse I'm, I'm not really paying much attention to. I definitely should be. Okay, there we go. Decent use for the cleanse. Not going to say it was great okay, by any I'm means. Get this. Now I want to auto attack as much as possible on heroes to lower the cooldown as I got a talent at level 4 to do that. Now level yeah, 7, don't clear, don't clear. I, need to stay. I can go with the Two. reveal and a shield, which is Wait, probably to going to be a yeah, pretty cool to thing to get if I would have gotten the cooldown reduction on my phase. I missed. Whatever. Uh, they combined peekaboo we'll as well as the old shield talent, so both of those are pretty cool. But I'm actually going something to reduce the cooldown of my cleanse, so I think that I will be getting the heal off of that whenever it, it removes a dis disable. Uh, we should be good. But the other options that we have is the slow on this, uh, as well as over here, we have a really strong percent health talent for unstable anomaly, uh, which is pretty nice. I might just soak top for a little bit, let them roam. I don't know what's actually giving me the, the pinging 39 sounds. stacks, that's pretty deep. Go away. Which is interesting. Because when minions are dying, I'm getting pings even though I didn't pick the talent for that, so. We're almost. I'm just gonna jump into this guy. Yeah, I'm on my way, baby. I'm gonna save you. Looking at that bright wing. Looking at mine, Hawk. And I get another proc on my passive. I'm going to just use my cleanse really quick. And I'm going to auto attack so that I get my cleanse back up faster. I think this is going to be the best way to do this. Give some spell armor here. Get some more auto attacks. I'm going to get a nice little polymorph oh there. Oh no. This is not what I wanted. I'm just going to keep auto attacking. I need to give movement speed as well as heals. I'm going to send one of these out. See if I can get another heal. And okay, we're out just alive. That's, That's not fine. bad. I'm going to try to get another heal here and then heal this guy. Now, okay, they I'm did do light changes to both of these. That's Blink heal is essentially the same. Uh, Emerald is essentially the same, but their level 20s are wall. different now. So if we expect this game to hit level 20, we are definitely going to want to practice for the new ones. And ultimately, I like the new Emerald more than uh, I like the, the change to the other ones. So we're going to stick with Emerald in this case. And in terms of healing, I mean, and clear this? I don't know if I'm at yeah. the point where I can... Wait till Carrie shows. I think she's on the camp. I might actually just go grab a camp up here. These things are really easy to kite. Like, mm -hmm. not do damage. They're just giving up objective. I'm going to bribe this, Pretends. and then I'm going to jump down. Oh, can't even bribe it. So I'm just going to hang out here, get all this soak for the team. And uh, and if needed, I'm going to watch this area in case I need a Z on to someone. Which it doesn't look like I'll need to. They also made her Z to where it pass, or it'll uh, instantly heal for 10% of your, your health. Which is really nice. Because then you don't need to... If you don't draft into something, you don't need to... Uh, or like you don't talent into something, you don't I'm need to actually do that. Which is really good for us. Uh, I'm going to go top as well. I'm just going to watch bot. In this case, I'm just going to Z in. I'm going to step into this, and I'm going to immediately... Oh, okay, we're good. So this objective on this map doesn't seem too strong. It seems definitely powerful. Probably at the, the power level of Cursed. Maybe a little bit stronger than Cursed, but there's no bosses. So you don't have the as much potential outside of the objective. Like, would we be getting this much value if we were on even talent tiers? Like, I... Um, no. I don't think I so. I to me, it reminds me a lot of Cursed. Like I think yeah. in general, it, you're you're getting about the same amount of value as Cursed, maybe a little bit more. The only reason why it's okay that you're getting more is there's no bosses. I see you have some thorns. Choose I got a good pressure top. I got a keep wall. 
This is a huge amount of experience lead to be getting. Now at level 13, these are all pixie related uh, for your pixie dust. So you can get more movement speed, which is pretty good. You can get more healing, which is nice. Or you can reduce the cooldown and increase the spell armor. So I'm going to be getting that. I want to lower cooldown. I want to be giving more spell armor more often. And I'm going to be getting my bribes off on this camp at least. I might also get them like on another camp. this is so open on this camp. Oh yeah, the camps feel really open, which I actually like a lot more. It's a lot I kind of want to for go for like this Hanzo camp, and but I don't see anyone. All so. these characters that really excel in chokes, which is always annoying on maps like this, because then it's just... You know, you play those you characters see. and you already win. Now they're going to probably come around this direction to kill me, so I'm just going to hearth man. here. And it should waste a lot of their time. So you can see... Bribe is getting a lot of value, and you can finally actually pick Bribe without feeling bad, because it's not on the same tier as, like, a really important talent. It is a good talent, though. I mean, you teleport, you heal 10% more health, which means you're healing 20% of the health. Aww. It's not bad. Unlucky. Um, and it also lowers the cooldown when minions die near you, which allows you to go free. global. So you have two like choices. A... You can either stay with you your team... Like, or you can go global. Too, so. And uh, I think that either option is really, really good, to be completely honest. Yeah. Well, I think both the of them gives you two different play styles that are good. Uh, in Hero League, I think staying with your group, healing them, and getting bribe stacks will add a lot more pressure. But I think that in uh, competitive, being able to go global with Brightwing and lower the cooldown of your global when you go global is really yeah, they're nice. giving it. I so. don't have equal tier. We just got to keep uh, getting Soak and trying to get to 16. So I'm going to head down bot lane while my team's mid. Looks like we're all heading bottom. Ah, uh, they're leaving. That's fine. We see building. where they are. Ooh, that's... That's bold. Okay, that works out. That was a really nice playing. Mm-hmm. He blinked the, uh... The cast. I'm just going to get myself the spell armor, and again, with the lower cooldown, we're just going to send that in. We're going to get oh, heals off on everyone. Early. Damn. And once again, I'm going to give myself the spell armor when she gets out, and then immediately poly her. Take her out. I'm going to just hop right in this. Keep wasting all my abilities. I just give some spell armor here. Oh! Well, this is becoming a little okay. bit of a stop. Oh, yes, we're alive. I don't have a uh, mana to do that. I can start this. I will be getting phase out. I want to practice it. I think it's going to be a better talent against someone like a Kerrigan. I can't do this by myself, uh, so there's really no point in me doing this. I'm just going to kill one minion. I'm going to back off. And I'm just going to simply back here. I don't have any bribe stacks to, to sneaky anything either to prep for this objective. I think I used my bribe stacks too early, to be honest. I don't know if it's worth using my Z to get in here, or if it's better to just let them get this for free, and then me just kind of sit. I can probably start this camp without bribe. Ooh, ooh, this is, this is rough. I'm going to Z in. Well, Again, you can see a really here. big heal. I'm just going to give some spell armor. I'm going to get an extra heal off. Oh, I didn't get that extra heal off. They just moved out of the way. So getting that Q heal is Break pretty unreliable. Crystal, there you. Just going to get a polymorph, a Q, give some spell armor. I'm just going to give spell armor to myself. The extra heal. Oh, I almost got that extra heal. I'm fine. Just leave. I'm just going to get another Polymorph Why and another Spell Armor. The enemy team? And then I'm going to head up top and I'm going to pressure the global probably. That's a really good fight. Because again, I have my Z available soon. Or for those in Europe, the Z available. Oh, whoa. These giants are not how I thought they were going to be standing. 
I queued <laughs> expecting them to be side by side and they're like the complete opposite way. Yeah, they, they repositioned a lot of the cams. So they're like, they're the same cams, they're just slightly moved around. Mm -hmm. And then like they're in the same spot and everything too. Still gonna focus on just getting some soak here. I have the global. There's really no downside to this unless they gank me, and I've got answers to that. I've got phase out for the initial stun and my ult. I'm gonna just jump right in. I did this. I keep doing that way too early. Uh, we are really split. This is a really awkward fight. I'm gonna give some spell armor here. I keep missing all of those. I'm going to just do a quick poly, give some spell armor. Now they're all on me. I'm going to phase out, and then I'm going to jump in. I want this kill. Get the extra heal. Oh, this Kerrigan's just... Yeah, that's a... Kerrigan's pretty scary right now, honestly. Yeah. Like... She can really jump on people. It has a ton of shields. Yeah. Like, if it wasn't Kerrigan versus Kerrigan, yeah, I wonder if this Kerrigan's going to just really blow people apart. I also played that pretty bad. Like, I keep using my emerald way too early. I keep, like, emerald... I keep jumping in and mashing my R like I'm going to emerald, and then like, Gust usually goes off first. So, I need to work on that. Uh, but in general, level 16, her options are critterized. So, the more, sh uh, the oh, more really polymorphs to you get off, the more down. shields you're removing, I mean, armors really you're removing. Or you can like, do the center silences, shields, as well as you, you can help, reduce the damage for people, which is also heal. cool. So I think, honestly, she's going to have, like, a Polymorph-type build. She's going to have a Q-type build. And then she's going to have a Teleport-type build. All three of them are going to be pretty cool. But you can't break it early. That's the problem. The enemy team has to break it? or I use Alt-E so that I can give myself the movement speed while I'm going into lanes. So you could just, like... It doesn't take too Screw much mana. yourself over and stay in there for five seconds in the middle of the fight. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, it's one of those things you have to know when to use it, I think. Yeah. You can if you're really... not comfortable, got a few then people it's mid. probably a don't take kind of thing. Because there's good talents on that tier. No, I just need to watch them. I need to join them when I see the fight going in. I'm gonna just push everyone away. I'm just gonna head up here, grab a fountain, join this fight again. This Kerrigan is unreal. Doing so much Coming damage. Back. I'm just gonna stasis through some of this. Kerrigan. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's huge. If we can't take out that Kerrigan, she's like the new Illidan, honestly. It just hops around forever. I think we're gonna need to really blow up Kerrigan. Kerrigan's yeah. literally hopping around like Illidan, just out shielding all of our damage because we're not focusing her. I think we just need to throw everything at Kerrigan, and then if she uses mm -hmm. Chrysalis, pick a different target. But uh, I don't think she took us. Yeah, I don't think she did. No. She, so, yeah, she went Ultra Power. Yeah, so. just throw everything at her, blow her up quickly. I phased out the the root, but it's weird because you can't turn it off. Like ice block, you can't just like quickly phase out, phase back in. With like ice block, you can ice block something and then immediately turn off the ice block. You can't turn off phase out, which it's short enough. It doesn't really matter, but it is still that 0.75 seconds seems really small. It's actually kind of large. So now this talent means that your emerald has a short cooldown, but uh. Right, it costs TV, way more go. mana. So the goal of this is to keep your your we should go to this cooldown. Right you should be get this camp. Eh, we got camp already. So yeah, we should go right away. Okay, yeah, your goal is to keep utilizing your fight ult actually, as much as here, possible. Oh, we're fighting. Okay. I'm gonna do a big heal for him, and I'm gonna use my first emerald. And now after that first emerald, I'm gonna just try to keep everyone alive. And I'm going to do a second Emerald, pushing them right back in. And Kerrigan. I'll have enough mana to yeah, do I'll another one afterwards. Oh, well, actually, Easy. no, I won't. Okay, and now I'm going to back, and I've got my... Oh, I don't have my Z available, but uh, 
But if I was going the Z build, you could see how I could get all my mana That's back, right. and then I could just join the team again. Tornies and, are too strong for them. And uh, it's a cool ult, because it's like you can get multiple emeralds off when you want oh, them, not just one game. big one. You can do oh, them whenever you want them. Okay, Falstead's got that lane. I don't have... My Z's right at here. 10. Fly in so. when you're ready. Yeah. She's out of mana. <clears throat> I'm get telling them when I'm able to show up. I'm just going to zero in. Look at this big heal when I go in. 10% of his health. It's 1,000 health. Guys. And that's not even the best version of it. Very well played. Yo, drop VP now. Aw, oh, damn. Oh, that was going to follow me. Anti -synergy. <laughs> <laughs> that anti-synergy. That anti-synergy. So that is new Brightwing. I the personally TV's. think that... I think she's pretty good. I mean, what was my healing this game? We'll, we'll see any coming in a second. Through, baby. Any coming through. I, I know. I, I, want, I want the EU on our team. Okay. So I did <laughs> zero healing that game. So I'm going to say that her healing is a little undertuned. No, but in all seriousness, no, I, I showed, think I did pretty good healing. I can't how, really I mean, see um, yes. what it is because there's uh, a bug. Guys. But uh, I think I think Brightwing's in a pretty good spot, honestly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Really